We don't need to know your name. We don't need to know your telephone number. All we need to know is a child is missing or this person is missing and we will reach out to you. The Hunter's search and rescue team rose to prominence in 2021 following the disappearance of young Andrea Barrett. When her body was found, members of the team decided they wanted to continue searching for the missing relatives of families across Trinidad and Tobago. Since that time, the team has completed over 300 missions, recovered several dozen bodies, and reunited many missing relatives with their families. The group's most recent recovery was five-year-old Janessa Allen, who was found on the banks of a river in Carapal. Team captain Valence Rambarat says there are rituals that the team completes after each search, adding they also discuss their own families. That is, we ensure that we pray, we debrief, I debrief the team after prayer and most times we sit and we have a meal and we continue the discussion about what took place during the day. We discuss our families, we make sure that everybody, it's like a family. Our team is made up of a family of families. The family comprises 31 members in total with 26 full-fledged members and five in training who must undergo coaching for a total of six months. There are also five females in the group. And the team is broken up into units. We have Tobago unit, North unit, South unit and Central unit. So it is easy for our team to respond within minutes to any geographical location in Trinidad and Tobago. While he is thankful for the support received thus far, the Hunter's search and rescue team does require additional resources. These include uniforms, backpacks and high-quality equipment such as GPS and ATVs. Mr. Rambarat is calling on corporate citizens and even officials from the state to support their efforts. We feel that we've done enough work and that the state can assist us, not merely signing us up, let's say, for a job but really helping us with annual stipends to ensure that the, the team gets its job done mm. and so we could operate and we could continue to be, to be available to the public and our response time would be quicker. At present, the group does not accept cash payments but donations in the form of equipment and other materials. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.